It's been about a week since Meta launched its Twitter competitor called Threads, and it is taking over the internet. Threads, 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 Threads. Currently using Threads, I have the app on it. And that's when it clicked in my head, why not put my filmmaking and editing skills to the test and create a spec ad for Threads. It's 1.20, we still haven't shot any scene, we are still setting up the lighting. To make things interesting, we are going to be doing it all within 24 hours. It is currently 10.05 am and I have a lot of sound designing to do. I don't know if I'll be able to make it in time. Now I can surely create an ad, but to create a good ad and that too within 24 hours, we need a good plan. Let me quickly run you through the entire storyboard script or whatever the heck this is. The concept is very simple. The protagonist is miserable in the beginning and he is pointlessly scrolling through his phone. Then he finds stress and his life basically changes. He connects with like-minded individuals and makes meaningful connections. He starts to find social media interesting again and we are going to add a voiceover to make it more clear. Now that the planning was done, it was time for us to start the challenge. We are in the studio right now, about to head out to our first location of the shoot. So let's do a transition. So we are at the first location of our shoot and this is the room we are working with. So let's quickly fix the lighting and get right into the first shot. The first bit is very simple. This is the first shot we are going to create. But we had to make it visually appealing. But the problem with that is that it takes a lot of time to make things look visually appealing. It's currently 1.20 and we are just done with the lighting and we are about to shoot the first shot. 3, 2, 1, action! So we tried and tried and tried until we got it right. I sound like a rapper right now. It's currently 2.35 and we have only done 3 shots. I also wanted to indirectly imply that the user was using Twitter in the beginning and threads towards the end. So we had to create 2 different looks in the same location. So how did I do that? Using lighting. Yes, Twitter blue. We use the RGB button light to create a bluish hue in the entire room to signify Twitter. So we are done with the first few shots and now we are going to change the lighting and get few more shots. And we created the warm white look to signify threads. So we are composing the last shot of this scene in this location and it's currently 341. At That's this point up. we were done with the starting and the ending scenes but we had the outdoor scenes left and we didn't have a lot of daylight left. So basically we rushed this next part and I forgot to turn on the mic. Yes this happens to the best of us because we all make mistakes as a human right? Anyways this next bit was shot on the Insta360 X3 because I wanted to experiment and try out the unique perspective this small little camera offers. So I made my friends hold this camera along with the phone and walk across the street. Later on I was edit and drag the phone to the center of the screen and I also managed to get a few revolving shots with this camera. So basically when edited it would appear as if the camera is rotating and the subject and the background is changing. These shots went super smooth because it was quite simple and easy to shoot with this camera but something that was not easy at all was our next shot. Basically what we planned is that the camera will follow the first subject and then it will get intersected by the second subject. Then the camera will follow the second subject until it gets intersected by the third subject and then the camera will follow the third subject and that's it. What made it more difficult is the traffic. Look, I don't know about you guys but people here don't really obey the traffic rules. We almost got hit by a bus when we were attempting to execute this one shot. The cars would completely ignore the zebra crossing and they wouldn't even stop on the signals. But we couldn't take no for an answer. We had to coordinate our timing and movement to pull this off. And after an hour of trials, we somehow managed to pull it off. But it didn't make it to the final edit. In editing, there's something called murder your darlings, which basically means that if it doesn't fit well with the intention of the edit, cut it out. So we are back at the studio. It's currently 9-12 p.m. We are about to back up all the footage and hopefully everything is alright because we don't have any time to reshoot anything. Even if anything goes wrong, we have to fix it in the editing. Editing is the most important part. Editing is what separates an amateur from a pro. But little did I know that this was not going to be an easy task for me. So I have the equipments to capture and record the highest resolution, but my system isn't that capable to handle it. Well, it can handle it in normal situations, but today, today is no normal situation. Today we have a time limit. Now the very first thing that I like to do when editing a project is I open up all the clips and I make proxies of them because my laptop is not that capable to handle 4K clips that well. I'm only going to select the main final clips and then make proxies of those clips only. It will save me a lot of time. It's only 11 8 pm, so we have around 12 more hours, and I'm pretty much chilling at this point. I can easily make it in 12 hours. 
we have plenty of time guys now we have to select the music and since we have limited time i'm going to share with you guys the number one time saving tool that i use as a creator motionary is a marketplace with tons of video assets like templates plugins stock footage photos sound effects and music i'm going to be using motionary to download every single asset that will be required in editing this video if you're someone like me and you want to save yourself a lot of time and effort in searching for editing assets then this is literally the perfect solution you literally cannot make this up i didn't even move from the first page and i already found the perfect music for the ad the new premium plugins toolkit is a game changer it is pretty much available in every editing software all you have to do is download and install it wait it's that easy and motionary is really coming in clutch right now I personally use this feature in removing the green screen in this shot. Since I moved over to DaVinci, this tool has been of great help. You can even add particles, flares, color grade, gradients and everything is just drag and drop and simple. Without Motionary, I don't think I would be able to complete this challenge. The best thing is you can try Motionary for free right now and you will get access to hundreds of free assets. However, if you decide to purchase the annual membership, you will get a $50 off. So visit the link in my description and you're welcome. Now we needed to add the most important key element of the video, which will determine how the audience connects with the actor, which is, can you take a guess? the voiceover. Now we need to add the voiceover so that we can set up the sequence according to the voiceover. And I don't have access to any voiceover artist, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use AI to generate the voiceover. The tool that I'm going to use is Morph.ai, not sponsored, but I generally use that. Are you tired of feeling disconnected in a world that's always connected? Introducing Threads by Meta. Using the Insta360 surely brought a unique perspective to the ad. But since it was my first time, I didn't know how to import and use the clips. The Insta360 clips took way too long to track and export. It's currently 2.44 am and I'm starting to feel a little bit sleepy now. Now, if you thought this was the only hurdle in my way, then you are mistaken. Because after some time, this happened. I don't know what to do. Should I restart it or force shut down? My computer totally froze. Look at this. I'm moving the mouse. The cursor is right there. Time to find out if DaVinci Resolve really saved all my work. So let's open up. Yes. After barely losing all the progress, I still kept going until the sun started rising. But I was so damn tired, I forgot to turn on the mic. And I had the toughest part yet to come. I don't know if I'll make it in time right now. Because I also have to do the VFX, the sound effects, and also the color grading. Which are the most time consuming tasks. Everything was running very very smoothly. 519, done with the first VFX shot. And I was very very confident that we will make it with plenty of time to spare. Okay, so I'm done with the second, third and fourth VFX shot. And we have two more VFX shots left. But remember what I said earlier, this was not going to be an easy task for me. Hey guys, I was just editing and the lights went out. If people from developed nations are watching, you guys are very lucky. You. You don't have to face these problems. What do you say? Yes. The electricity was literally out for an hour and I still had a lot of editing to do. I was frustrated and I was running out of energy and the lack of sleep was finally catching on to me. Because it forces us, it forces us to be productive because I cannot even form a sentence right now. Regardless of all the hurdles and the challenges, regardless of almost getting hit by a bus, regardless of my sleepiness and tiredness, we somehow just managed to pull it off within 24 hours. I think we are finally done. I'm done sound designing this. I don't know how to color grade these Insta360 footages, but I still anyhow did it. And it's currently 10.22. We still have 40 minutes to spare. Was it worth it? I don't know. I think it was for me because I got to learn a lot and push my limits. It's always good to experiment with new things and learn new things because it expands your creativity. So always remember, keep creating. Are you tired of feeling disconnected in a world that's always connected? Yup. Introducing Threads by Meta. 
In a world filled with distractions, Threads brings you back to what truly matters. Discover meaningful conversations tailored to your interests, effortlessly connect with like-minded individuals, and most importantly, share your thoughts and creativity without any limits. Threads, connecting one thread at a time.